Depending on your income, you may be eligible for a tax credit that pays a portion of your premium. Once you have that shiny new insurance card, you'll want to try really hard to keep it in your wallet. To better your odds at staying healthy, be sure to take advantage of the free Aww. preventive services that all new insurance plans provide. <coughs> but of course, stuff happens. And that's when insurance really comes in handy. Now, having insurance helps a lot, but it doesn't mean all your health care is going to be free. There are lots of details about your insurance plan that affect how much you pay when you get sick or injured. If you have Medicaid, a lot of these services could very well be free. Otherwise, you'll likely have to pay something when you go to the doctor or fill a prescription. This is called a copay when it's a specific dollar amount, like $25 per visit, or coinsurance if it's a percentage of the bill. There's also the deductible. That's how much comes out of your own pocket before your insurance starts paying. Depending on your plan, you might have a deductible for all your care, or it might only apply to some types of care, like hospital stays and prescriptions. So read your plan material, because it could add up to thousands of dollars. <gasps> Another important part of your plan is the out-of-pocket maximum. This is the most you'll ever have to pay in any one year, at least for the benefits your plan covers. Your insurer will pay 100% of anything beyond the maximum for the rest of the year. It can be just as confusing dealing with prescriptions. Your plan has a list of drugs it will pay for called a formulary, but the prices vary. Check with your doctor or pharmacist because a generic drug might fix you up the same as a brand name drug, but the price difference